hello guys uh, welcome to a new video and i found an opportunity in the tesla uh, today because it popped up uh, and it kind of it was in range bound for a long time and today it popped up and that uh, presents a good opportunity for a trade that i have already done but i want to show you what trade i did and how much profit you can make from that trade and if you are interested in that then please stick around and with that let's start by the way guys uh, i see a lot of uh, folks uh, you do watch the videos but they do not subscribe uh, to the channel so i do appreciate if you like this content do subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up that helps me and motivates me to make more such videos so do subscribe guys. okay so uh, tesla today uh, kind of broke out of its range and i'll show you the technical chart on it that uh, i was uh, looking at uh, before uh, recording this video and so if you look at right uh, today uh, tesla kind of broke out of this range and right now it's hovering uh, as i record this right right now it's hovering around uh, this area which is like 184 and it is uh, what i liked about this right uh, as it broke out it is kind of successfully back tested uh, to the line and uh, if it can hold this line it is gonna go higher from here so uh, this is a perfect example of back testing on the breakout where it broke out and it is kind of holding it well so i expect this to hold uh, at least uh, for a week now so that presents an opportunity especially one of the option uh, that i have already discussed uh, in one of my video but i wanted to specifically make this video uh, for the tesla trade and what uh, you can do on this so uh, let's uh, go to the robin hood uh, first and uh, let's look at the trade setup and, and after that i'm gonna show you what could be the scenarios and then finally we will discuss uh, the risks that are associated to this okay so let's go to my uh, robin hood okay so uh, i'm in my robin hood and let's look at the trade setup right so this is the tesla and if you look at today right it kind of broke out so you go to the options uh, I have already done this uh, trade uh, but I want to show you the setup for this if you want to uh, do the similar trade uh, uh, maybe tomorrow or uh, um, anytime next week you can do uh, and if it holds well you can even uh, try this strategy uh, even future uh, uh, weeks as well. So for this you go to the trade uh, options the first thing is uh, you sell you select sell put here and i'm just doing it for a week because uh, this is gonna be a very short term strategy for me i'm not gonna uh, go a uh, bank on this for very long so i'm just selecting a, a one week expiry uh, for the strike price as i mentioned uh, in the technical chart here right so this is uh, the broke out uh, the range so it kind of broke out from the 180 but i'm going uh, more safer here the next uh, support uh, that you see here right which is uh, a 170 kind of a range that has uh, it kind of broke out here first i think yesterday and then finally it broke out from here right so i'm just going two level down to give me extra cushion in case this kind of breaks and it starts filling this gap right so i'm just giving uh, two levels here so one level is 180 if you want to do 180 strike that's also fine but that may be too aggressive uh, the next leg is uh, 170 so in my case i'm just gonna do uh, 170 to be and i as you can see right i've already executed this trade uh, so you do sell put and then uh, this is a two leg strategy and then the next is you buy a put right below that right you can do this too this is gonna give you less premium so i'll just go five strike down which is 165 so this is uh, the setup right so you basically uh, sell a put and you do buy uh, below that so this is put credit spread and if you are completely new to this strategy uh, i have a detailed video which i link you can uh, first go through that and then you can come back here to execute that trade okay so this is the strategy you are getting uh, uh, 45 i actually received when i executed i received uh, 55 so i have already i'm already up 10 to 12 percent but this is a still uh, this is still a good trade uh, to execute okay 
so this is the setup you do after that you can check the profit and loss here which i'm gonna come back uh, in my second part uh, so this is the profit loss and then you can continue and execute this trade right so you, you do continue uh, you can select multiple contracts so one contract is gonna basically you would need uh, 500 dollar collateral if you do two contracts you're gonna need a thousand dollar in collateral right but you're getting uh, almost uh, 10 11 percent back right so your loss is kind of for, for, for 50 in this case for doing one contract so if you do one contract you can select bid and ask and then you review order and execute right so that was the trade setup now let's uh, discuss this uh, uh, the scenarios that can actually happen in this trade right okay so the scenarios that can actually happen in this right so let's say uh, tesla kind of stays above 170 uh, uh, come june 21st you are well and good uh, you basically keep all your profit and your collateral is really so that's a happy case scenario but uh, let's say tesla starts going down and as uh, you can see here right uh, basically i have given uh, two levels of down support here but if i see this that this starts breaking i am gonna uh, this would be a good time to kind of adjust uh, uh, making adjustment to your trade right so that's why that's why i've given like a two level so you have some room to adjust so if you see that this is starts going down here so this would be a chance where you can actually start thinking of either uh, maybe roll it out or you can close the trade uh, for a small loss right so uh, this would be a place where you will have to see uh, what's the trend going on and this is a your window to either roll out or close it out you, you should not wait for like uh, maybe till like june 21st if the trend is changing okay uh, so far the trend is intact but in case it does change this would be your window to kind of uh, maybe just break even and close the trade right so that's your window if it starts going uh, uh, if it starts going near this 170 range right so that's where you should think about uh, rolling it out and i have a detailed video on how to kind of save this kind of trade on how to roll it out i will uh, do link that down uh, somewhere in the description and i'll put somewhere here so you can do check that out as well now the final part is that risk right what are the risks that can happen in this trade and that's very important to manage your risk so let's discuss that so in this trade right i have already explained let's see uh, the profit and loss right but let's relook at closely because that's where your uh, risk mitigation strategy lies right so let's relook at uh, the max profit here so as you can see your max profit here is uh, 48 and your max loss is 452 so your collateral is 500 right i have intentionally i have already done this trade but i have only done one contract right because uh, 500 dollar is a very small percentage of my portfolio so i am okay taking that risk so in this trade basically your max loss is gonna be 450 so if you are okay if that is your small percentage of your account and you are okay to take that risk then only execute this trade because uh, uh, this is gonna be your max loss and to mitigate the risk don't go overboard like i said uh, if you do let's say two contracts right you do get more uh, premium in you but your risk exposure gets increased here right similarly you can if you are very confident you can do five contracts so in this case you are making like almost 250 dollar by just uh, uh, doing like a um, two thousand dollar trade right that's pretty sounds pretty good but uh, the risks are really high so to mitigate your risk the number one thing you keep your port keep your size of the contract as per your portfolio adjust it as per your portfolio the second thing that you can do is like i said you don't have to really do this 500 dollar you can instead of uh, uh, let's go back and uh, cancel this one right so this is stays same so instead of doing the 500 dollar what you can do is you can just do uh, 250 dollar trade right so you do um, buy a put here so that basically reduces your max loss and you do make uh, 
a kind of less premium but at least in percentage terms is still same you are making 10 to 12 percent here as well so these two things that you can do to mitigate your risk and of course uh, as i mentioned in the previous part if you see the trends uh, going against you you can always uh, roll it out or you can close it early uh, to maybe for a small profit or break even price you can definitely close it out okay guys so that was it for this video and i hope you like the content and uh, if you have any questions related to this trade or anything uh, related to options strategies or in general any investing questions you can ask uh, your questions down in the comment i do read all of them and i will respond to them with that i'll talk to you in my next video guys till then happy investing bye bye